Caution is on the speedway. Caution. Oh, oh my. He was trying to get in the pits. Oh, Rick McRae and Butler, Toby's truck in major flames. He was sitting on that Todd Bodine. Might have been just a little bit of contact between Sprague and Bodine. Bodine goes around and Sprague runs into the cars and look at these cars now. They're going to, Todd Bodine is going to save this car. He's not going to run into the end. And that battle right behind the leaders. Toby Butler in 52, Jay Sauter in the number three. Taking that long, hard ride to the wall in turn one. Watch the left side of your screen. Two cars getting together, and then one gets sideways. Looked like that was the Dale Jarrett car. Brad Teague, I believe, the number Brad 75, Teague. the black and orange car, right at the middle of your screen, and he really Look how that racetrack is blocked. There's nowhere to go. Driving has nothing to do with it here. You're flying. There's just nowhere to go. Everything washes down, but people now have locked it up to try to miss the wreck. and uh, Really tried to force the issue here, entering turn one. Trader says, where, the, where yeah. the heck did he come from? Made hard contact. You wonder if Dennis Setzer were. Yeah, fifth, sixth, seventh, and eighth positions. And there we see Schrader shoot out to the outside and Bickle down to the inside. And other cars coming through the middle. Now, what, what caused him to shoot out there? All the way out to the car. Oh, they both, both sideways. Look out. They're both going around as the new leader, Ray Bliss, dodges and coming around the front straight away. Oh. Get back up there and Try to gain a lap back. Oh, trouble! Jason Keller, Todd Bodine, that's Todd in the blue car. He scrambled oh, under one car. Oh. Car almost turning over was Doug Heverett. A big scramble is on to try to avoid many cars coming down. Upper right hand corner of your screen, boom, right there. Man, oh man. I have no idea what might have caused that collision with the wall but you see this truck it doesn't stop because Hanson puts on the brakes or anything else it gets it stops because it gets, it gets tired of rolling the friction with the wall is what brings him to a stop all the way into turn four because right now yeah right and the guy that made the speech at the driver's meeting is oh we got a bad crash in the back straightaway Rodney Combs Combs has crashed they're trying they to avoid him and here comes the trouble so you can't avoid once you see a car spin in front of you get on the brakes and they just everybody breaks this is actually a bigger crash than the one we just had. Kenny Wallace is in Second front. through fifth. They can't work it out. Side by side. Oh, oh inside. What a great 81 run. 81 of David Starr. There's more contact. Ken Schrader, Schrader gets into him. Dennis Setzer goes around. The four of Ricky Carmichael involved. And remember the fuel situation. Let's now see. we're going to go. There we see Schrader coming off the wall. Right in front of Larry. Right in front of Larry. And there's the fire that I looked up and saw. He knocked the fuel pump up. And I think Butler's going to get it, I mean, Straight's going to get it sideways. He does. Straight got just a little bit sideways. When he turned it back to correct it, he runs into the side of Butler and just kind of knocked the wheel straight. He hit the Let's left. See. Here comes, here's Crawford coming the red truck. Bam, he hits the wall hard. When he gets a blow from Jack Sprague. So it looks like Five or six trucks involved. And Benny, that's very, very hard. Ooh. He was dead in the throttle. Looked like almost a little bit of a, of a shutter there. The thing shook. I don't know if it did it have a flat. Might have might have had a right rear go down. Something shoot. Right in right in the middle, it looks like uh, no, right at the back of that pack. Looks like Probably, maybe it looked like maybe Chuck Bound got in the back of Toby Butler, who in turn got in the back of Lance Norick, and around they went. The problem with these straightaways here, Ray, they're banked 16 degrees. They're self-cleaning. Now we see already see the 52 truck, the Oakwood Homes truck of Schrader going around. That's Terry Cook right behind him. And look at Setzer. Here he comes. All of a sudden, he realizes he has no place to go, and Biffle just barely squeaks by in that Granger Ford on the bottom of the racetrack. Racetrack in front of him. Here's the moment of impact. There's another view of uh, Terry Fisher getting off the racetrack, spun across, spun across the race, back across the racetrack. And Mike Sh shot of it. Looks like he just. You know, he might have had a flat. I mean, I don't, I don't see Kenny Schrader ever lose any vehicle just like that. Either flat tire. He still is not home free. Oh, no. Oh, he's, it, 
it's going to go. And around he goes, and no! No! It's T-boned by Ryan McGlynn. Ryan. NASCAR crash the truck series result. Right along with Kenny Schrader. Saw what he saw. Boom! You, tried, you heard him get in the throttle real hard, tr then tried to get rolled. Well, now he's got some considerable damage. Watch Jimmy drive that thing. Watch, watch him steer that thing inside that truck. His hands are working extremely hard. And I, that's all going down at well over 100 miles an hour. Yeah. And he's out of control. You know, you, you think about running 100 miles an hour, that's a big deal, and he's out of control. You see, you saw Corey Gibbs behind him, so there wasn't not any contact from Corey Gibbs. He just drove in the corner, had a flat tire, went up the race.